Hi everyone. This video is going to give you directions on how to reply and do an initial post in the discussion board. So as you can see we are in our course here and we always go to modules so we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to go to modules. Notice here we have uh, weeks one, two, and three set up. We are in week one. But please know if you forget how to do anything, you can always come back into week one and take a look at some of these videos. What we're going to be working on today is this very first discussion board that you're going to be doing. So when I click on that, the directions are telling me a few things. This is really going to give you a feel for how you're going to be um, working in the discussion board. Um, and it's going to give you a time uh, to get to know some people in your course. So even though we are working virtually, we still want you to feel um, a sense of community in the course. And so we try to set that up in, in this course as much as we possibly can. So as you will notice in our discussion boards, we have two due dates in the discussion boards. Our initial posts are nearly always due on Thursdays by 11.59 p.m. Your replies will always be due on Sundays that the module is due. So for this one, it's Sunday, August the 30th at 1159. So you always want to keep that in the back of your mind. Your initial post will always be on Thursdays. There might be some exceptions. And Sundays is when your um, replies will be due. We nearly always have you reply to at least two people sometimes more. And one of the things that we would like you to do is to find two people who have zero or very few replies attached. It's really easy to reply to the first person who has posted because they're the first one that you see. Please take a minute or two to look through the posts to find one that has not had many replies to it. And you will be able to see the rubric for grading as well. So for this initial post, what we're asking you to do is to find an image that represents how you're feeling about the start of this semester. You can use your own images. You can find free images at these websites. I'm not going to click on those, but again, um, you can click on them. This, these websites are a good habit for you to get into as we are creating assignments that are going to use um, photos or pictures. Um, it's really good to use images that are free to the public and in the public domain and not just going to Google. So um, one of those things that you just want to um, remember. If you do find a picture, let me just go in and let's see if we can find a picture here. Um, I'm going to search a picture. Excitement. And I've got a dog there that looks really excited. I think I might click on that. So if I click on it, I'm going to see if it makes sure that it allows me to upload it. And when I do that, I'm going to download it right here on this arrow. And I'm going to download a, a small one. And I'm going to grab that download if I can. And I am going to save that to my desktop. I'm going to export it. And then once I do that, I'm going to save it to my desktop. It's taking a long time for me to save it to my desktop here. For some of you, you can just drag that image to your desktop as well. Um, but once I save it to my desktop, then I'll be able to upload it. Um, to my photos. So again, that's just an example of what you can do. I'm going to go back to the discussion board. What it's asking you to do here is to upload an image 
And then what you're going to do is introduce yourself by name, explain why you chose that image, and how it represents your feelings as you begin this semester. So the way to send to do your initial post is at the end of this um, assignment explanation, you'll see something that says reply. And you're going to click on reply, and it's going to give you the option to do some typing. And you're going to do what the directions tell you to do. I'm not going to take the time to do that right here. Um, but um, right here it says in two to three sentences. Again, why did you choose that image and how does it represent your feelings? But now I have to add the image. So right here where it shows this icon of an image, I'm going to click Upload Image. I'm going to upload it from my desktop. I'm going to find the picture, and this is actually my dog, and I am going to upload that under Submit, and then hopefully the picture of my dog is going to come up. I'm not sure why it's not coming up at this moment. There it is. Um, and then once I finish writing um, what I have to say here, I'm going to click here where it says Post Reply. Now, a few tricks of the trade that you can possibly do as you're going through this, and then you'll notice when I'm done, I've got my reply right here. Um, some tricks of the trade as you're going through this. Some people like to um, type their information in a separate Word document and then copy and paste it here. Because students have been known to lose something they get it all typed up and then something happens and their computer crashes and then they lose it and they have to start over again. So just a thought if you want to do that. Now again, once you've posted this by Thursday, once Thursday comes and ends, you are going to go in and do some replying to two classmates. And when you do that, notice I'm the first person that's posted, so I'm the first one underneath here. So what you're going to want to do is scroll through and find other people who maybe don't have replies underneath theirs. But what you're going to do is click under Reply directly under that person, and you are going to reply to them in two to three sentences. What's something that you have in common with them? What is something that you like about their photo? Um, what can you talk to them about their feelings, about how you're feeling um, about this semester? So again, it gives you time to engage with um, the person in your class. So that's how you're going to set up the discussion board. And this is how we set up our discussion boards the whole semester. Um, so if you aren't sure how to do it, always come back to this video to help you out. Take care.